Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have Utsav here with us who recently got into Tata Digital as a part of his campus placements at VIT and he is here to share his interview experience. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So this is completely different from TCS Digital. Now let's look at the eligibility criteria. All BTEC students were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 7 or 70% in 10th, 12th as well as in the pursuing degree with no standing careers. Now let's go ahead and talk to Utsav and understand his experience. Hi Utsav, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you. Um, Thank you for inviting me over. Would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah. So those of you who don't know me, I'm Utsa Verma. Uh, currently, I've complete, uh, I'm the final year of computer science engineering specialization in artificial intelligence and machine learning. And this is from VIT Bhopal. Okay. VIT Bhopal branch. Uh, I'm an AI enthusiast and I love to explore more about AI, more about artificial intelligence. And I've got two offers from uh, VIT Bhopal. One is in TCS Digital, another is in Tata Digital. Okay. Both are different companies. We all have this confusion. So I'll be clearing this confusion today in this video. Sure. Thank you. Um, you can now tell us about the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they Yeah. Did. Okay. So uh, uh, first was the coding round. So there were two coding questions and Questions were like mostly medium level questions were there. And one question from SQL and then S, uh, MCQs were there. So it was like, I would say medium level, examination level was medium. Okay. Then after that, we have three rounds. One is the interview uh, technical round. Then we have managerial round. Okay. And at last we have HR round. Okay. So in the technical interview, like basic questions on Java, JavaScripts were asked. Like, uh, let me give you an example. So questions were like asked on shorting algorithms, like how many types of shorting algorithms are there. Hmm. Specific, uh, specifically, they had asked me to uh, brief about quicksort. Okay. How does quicksort work? Hmm. So I had to show them ki how quicksort work. Then I was asked the difference between uh, array list and queue. Okay. So almost like basic level questions were asked, hmm. not the DSA like we all have this no, ki in product based company you have to give the DSA round. But in this company, there was no DSA round. Okay. Yeah, I was so yeah. Hmm. So after that, we had the manager round. So in this round, I was asked to brief about my project, hmm. what problems I faced during my project hmm. and how did I solve those problems? So basically what they were trying to figure out now, my problem solving ability, okay. like how good I am a pro as a problem solver. Hmm. And how do I approach problems? Right. Yeah. So in the HR round, uh, my leadership qualities were checked. Ki what, mm. like if I become the leader, how do I manage my group? How do I manage my team? Right. And the way of my thinking. Mm. So this was all. It was like really fun. Okay. One to one session. Mm. So it was really fun. Okay. So that was it, right? You had three rounds: yeah. one online test, one technical round, and one HR. Uh, three rounds were there. One coding test is there hmm. to get selected for the interview. Hmm. Then after that, there are three rounds: oh. technical, technical round, hmm. managerial round, and HR round. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. yeah. That's really great. Thank you for sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions for your juniors or for people? Who yeah. Are so for juniors, I would like to suggest anyone who is uh, you know trying to get into a good product-based company. Hmm. You can even try Tata Digital, but the basic is DSA. Right. I've seen many people, like closely I've seen people, they don't want to do DSA and they are very good at development work. Mm -hmm. Like even my friend was very good at development work, like he had built a good uh, cybersecurity projects. Mm -hmm. But even in the interview, like after hearing about the, his projects, they were like, okay, you're very good at project, but let's move to DSA. And he couldn't solve the DSA. Right, right. So, Please prepare the DSA. Even if you're shifting jobs, I've heard ki you need DSA after that also. Correct. So DSA is a must. Hmm. Now, uh, many of us don't know, like, tell me about yourself is very important question. You know, like you can give direction to the interview through tell me about yourself. Right. So even in my interview, like, tell me about yourself. Like I had practiced it a lot. Ki, what should I say? 
like my friend was taking my interview and he had guided me you can tell this you can tell that right so, you know so you should practice tell me about yourself more and more it's okay. it's very important okay now uh, many a times like what happens now you see like you are asked questions where you don't know the answer hmm. now many candidate i have seen what they do like they you know there are two ways they approach this like one they'll be pretending to think about the answer hmm. and wasting their time hmm. so that's a big no please don't do that hmm. you are wasting the time okay and other people say i don't know the answer hmm. so you, what you can do you can you have to act mature in an interview you know you are a grown up so what you can say is that uh, i don't know the answer but i would try to solve this problem okay so, so this shows your problem solving ability hmm. like everybody doesn't know no right. everything yeah right. we cannot know we cannot have the knowledge of everything hmm. we will be stuck in the industry hmm. So you have to show them if you are stuck. How do you approach that problem? That's a very important thing. Mm-hmm. And I think because of that skill which I showed in my interview, I was selected. Okay. Okay. This is very important. Like I couldn't answer all the questions, but I tried to show them my problem solving ability. I have the problem solving ability. Mm-hmm. And you know, like whenever you are thinking something, think open mind. You know, you should discuss it with the interviewer. Right. Right. what you are thinking otherwise it will be very difficult if you are not able to solve the dsa problem mm-hmm. so that's it that's all the thing i would like to suggest my juniors okay that's really great thank you again for sharing your experience and for the suggestions yeah, yeah. thank you thank you